Hey everyone, today we're going to be using the new responsive engine to try and redesign this hero section here on my existing bubble app. It's quite simple, a couple of text elements and an email sign-up group. Uh, the one kind of complex thing is I've used a few hacks to make this more responsive on mobile. So the way the existing page is structured, one of these email sign-up groups hides when a page would get below a certain level and the other one shows. So hopefully the new responsive engine means we won't have to deal with that. But anyway, let's get into designing this section here. So we have a brand new page here. I've upgraded to the new responsive engine. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the width. We usually build on 1200. And just leave plenty of room, we'll make that 2000. Container layout, doesn't really matter just because we're building one main element, but I would probably use column if I was building out a full page, just because there's one section here, another section here, and another section down here. Now that we have that set, we can get started building. So we're going to put in a group. And when I'm building these things, I always like to make it a separate color, just so you can see when you're previewing it. Okay, so we don't want to make it a fixed layout, because we make it a fixed layout, what's going to happen is it's just going to stay this width uh, when you expand and contract the page, which isn't really helpful uh, from our point of view. So if you look at that here, it's just not going to change, and it's just not what we want. So we're going to make that uh, aligned to parent. We're not going to make it a fixed width. We're going to have a min width of 300, which should cover most of the smaller mobile screens. And we're going to leave map with infinity, but we're going to click this stretch button here on horizontal alignment. So that means that it's going to cover the whole page at the various widths. Okay, so we have that. Uh, one thing we are going to do is we're going to put a bit of a gap at the top, just so we can put that header in uh, if we want to. Uh, we're also going to put the height, min height of oh, say 400 and a margin of 70 at the top. Okay, now that that's sorted, we are going to put in another container just for these elements here. So we're going to put in another group. And we're going to put in the middle of this. Uh, we are going to align to parent. Uh, okay, we're not going to make a fixed width. We're going to put in a max width of... Mm, infinity let's say and zero but what we're going to do is we're going to put in some margins on each side because otherwise uh, if we don't put in any margins in this text here when we put it in, in a second it's going to go right to the edge of the screen uh, probably better to show that with the text in it so let's do that okay so the text we have in our hero section is browse, qual browse jobs for qualified accountants in ireland my job site is a niche job board for accountants in ireland Okay, so we have that. I'm uh, just going to change the style. Uh, main page title. And we are going to do a quick preview just to see how that looks. Uh, there's going to be a couple of things wrong with this video, and I think it's useful to see the process as we build it. Okay, so first of all, that's at the left we want it in the middle. And probably more, uh, another issue is that there's no gaps in between the text and the edge of the page. So we're going to remedy both of those issues now. First of all, we're going to change the layout of this. We're not going to make it fixed width. We are going to make the width, uh, again, zero to infinity. We are not going to make it fixed height. We are going to give it a min height of 30. But I think if you hit, if you hit fit height to content, it just kind of automatically renders the, the appropriate height. So if, for example, we were about to say a uh, min height of 110, uh, you can see that that is much too big. But if we put it back down to 30, that is fine going to uh, put this in the center again and uh, so I will put it at the top I think yeah I'm gonna put some margins in and we'll do our response preview again and yeah you can see that's much better there's a bit of gap in between uh, the text and the edges of the pages and uh, looking well at the, the, the higher page widths as well okay so happy with that Next, we're going to put in the subtext here, which is going to be quite easy. Uh, it's going to copy this, paste it down. Hmm. And it seems to have pasted over it, I think. Let's have a look there. Yeah, so we have three there, so I'm just having pasting over. So that's to do with the layout of this container. So because I've done a line to parent, it looks as though uh, they're all just kind of being pasted on the same page. What we're actually going to want here is column. Yeah, and you can see there straight away we have three different ones. So that's much easier. Uh, we're going to take this one as the one we're actually going to use, and we're going to put it in the center. Uh, we're going to put this in the center, and we're going to delete this one. 
And I'm going to change this text to get the inside scoop when new jobs delivered. Great. Uh, we can change the style of this. That's looking better. And one issue is they're quite close to each other. I'd like a bit of a gap um, in between the two of these. So we're going to put in some margins. And we're going to put a margin of 15 at the bottom of this main text just to give it a bit of a gap. I'm going to do the same for this. So we're putting in the email group. Uh, we'll also have a gap. Okay, so pretty happy with that at the moment. Uh, that's looking pretty well on the responsive side, I think. Great. Okay, so the last thing we want to do for this is to build uh, the email sign-up group. So it's just an input element and also a button element. So let's do that now. We're going to put in another group. And you can see there it's at the left line, so we want to put that in the middle. We are going to make uh, this group... I uh, will say not fixed width. Um, what are we doing here? Oh yeah, okay, first of all, we're gonna make it a row. Now the reason we're making it a row is because we don't want uh, the button and the input to be on top of each other. We want them uh, adjacent to each other, one on the right, one on the left. And you'll see in a minute why that's important. Uh, it's not gonna be fixed width. We're gonna give it a min width of, let's say, 280. And we're gonna give it a max width of, let's say, 950. Fixed height, we can probably give it a fixed height, or maybe not actually, I suppose. And yeah, we're actually going to give that min height of zero uh, in a minute. You'll see if I give it a min height of zero, then it gets really hard to put elements in there. So I am actually going to give it a min height of zero, but I'm going to wait until there's other elements in there before I do that. So let's give it a, a min height of 50 for now. Okay, and uh, next we are going to put in an input. Put that in there. Uh, we're going to give this uh, a width of at least 300. Uh, we're going to change that. So min width of 300. And uh, we're also going to give it a, a kind of standard height of 45. And we're going to make that fixed. Okay, so pretty happy with how that is at the moment. Let's just take a quick look at the preview here and also on the responsive side. Yep, yeah, that, that's looking pretty well. Uh, we now have to put in the button, so let's do that. Uh, where is the button, 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 button. And because it's a row, you can see it's automatically gone to the right-hand side of this group. If I was to change this group layout to column, then you can see it would go below, but we don't want that. Uh, so we want row, and again, we had a fixed height of 45 for that, and we're also going to have a fixed height of 45 for the button. Uh, we are going to have some dynamic widths to the button. Uh, we're going to give it a width of at least 150, and we're going to let it expand to infinity if there is space to do so. And we're just going to put in subscribe here. If I could spell subscribe right, it would be good. change this to you at your email.com and change that to email. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. I think we're nearly there. Let's have a look at this in terms of responsiveness. And remember, I have rows, so the elements should be adjacent to each other in terms of one on the left and one on the right. What's really nice about the responsive uh, design is, yeah, you can see it's automatically going to the bottom there. Uh, so a couple of things here. First of all, we need to put in a few margins on this group here so that the, the button and the input bar aren't touching the edge of the screen. And second of all, uh, I want to put a bit of a gap in between the input and the button when it does go to this uh, on top of each other uh, style. So let's do that. Back into the group. And we're going to put um, some margins on the side of this. Go for 10 again. And we're also going to put a margin on the bottom of this. Let's put 10 and see how that looks. Let's go back to our responsive preview. Fine, fine, and great. So there we go. And what's really nice about this is instead of me having to use some hacks like I have in the old uh, you know, engine, putting in two groups for the, the email input and the subscribe button, I just have one. So really liking this part of the responsive design engine. One last thing to do we can do is change the color of this. Uh, we're going to give it a gradient, 
We're going to start off with white, and we're going to go down to this shade of grey here. Put it in at five. And we're going to get rid of the colour here. And we're going to get rid of the colour here. Now we should have a pretty perfect clone of our original uh, hero section, but it's now going to be in the responsive design engine. Let's just take one final look and compare like for like. So this is what we did have, again, using the old style uh, editor. And yeah, you can see pretty much identical. So that's just a quick way uh, of using the, the new responsive engine. Go and explore it more, and if you'd like to see more videos, please do subscribe.